so we finally made it to Petra and it was the best introduction ever. We had to walk through the canyon for about an hour with our guide and he kept stopping and explaining little things and right before we reached the treasury he distracted the whole group and he was showing us something up on the rocks and then he's like no that's not what I actually want to show you so then when we turned around we could see the treasury like through the slit in the canyon and it was the best view ever. So Petra has a few nicknames. It's known as the Lost City because it was forgotten for such a long time. And it is also known as the Rose City, as you can see because of the color of the stone. It's a nice pinkish orange. So some tips for visiting Petra. It's a lot like other archaeological sites. It's best to arrive early in the morning or potentially visit later on in the day. Late in the morning, early in the afternoon is literally the worst time to be here. Not just because of the crowds, but because of the weather. It's a really smart idea to bring lots of water, pack sunscreen, and if you get really tired, you can always ride a donkey, a camel, or a horse. There's a lot of transportation options available. Okay, so next up we are going to go visit the Courtyard Palace. We need to go up these steps and around and it's a very hot day, so hopefully we make it. So we are now inside one of the tombs and it's very dark and cool here, which we are enjoying. We need to cool off for a minute. But actually what's interesting about these tombs is that up until the 1980s, there were Bedouins living in here with their entire families. So that concludes our trip to Petra. We are just heading out now. It's been a long day and I think we can both agree that it's impossible to cover the entire archaeological site in a day or even half a day. I think you need at least three.